Hi everybody, I'm Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek, and this is part eight of the deck build. Uh, and we're going to get started here. So first, I have put in this, so if I can get this rail in here, if I can get the camera to sign it, because I can't see here, because the damn sun's in my way. There you go, there's the railing. There's this piece of railing here that goes in here. This one over here has been completed. That's been put in place and finished with the top rail here, completed on it here. So we've got the top rail here on it as well. So this one's completed. Now I'm taking working over here. I'm gonna take flip the cameras around. Okay, so now I'm working over here in this section here. This is a 45 degree angle across here. So in order to get the railings between here, the pieces that I'm using are these these pieces down here, which didn't go on the end of the two by four. They're not wide enough to cut the forty the two by four into forty five. So I'm putting in these blocks pieces right here that are cut at forty five here. So it'll be ninety degrees there. So I got to do the same up here at the top, and then again over here. Uh, as I got those blocks there, I got the blocks cut. I just got to get them put in place, and then I can build the rail that goes here. So that will be next. And I start building the um, next one with the top rail, and then we get the bottom rail, and then we start putting in the balusters here. There's uh, one, two, three, and here comes a cat going in here and then disappears for then the fifth one. Yeah, there's five, and here comes number six, and then number seven. I think it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven. Oh, hell, I can't count here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven. Okay. Twelve. And what we got? Thirteen of them here? Yeah, thirteen of them all total. Okay. I had a little fun with that last uh, rail to go up, but this is going to actually go through the how I put the rails up. So I use a set of trigger clamps here just to give a place here for the set on. So I just think, put, squeeze it on there and the rail setting on top of it here uh, so that I can get it into place. i got to adjust it up and down here a little bit here um, to get it in the right place. And then I think screw it in, uh, screw it in here. Uh, these got these little plastic pieces that make putting this thing together here um, that, that go on the end of the boards that are done and this is a bit rough here hanging over the edge here i am afraid of heights and here i am hanging over the edge of this deck which is uh five foot up off the ground so it's a little little bit of a bit for me so then i have these take these two by fours that i set on the deck here and that and just stick out the end over the edge and that's my spacing for the bottom of it and and then when it's, it's in place and everything and held and then i just move those two by fours out of the way and uh, so I'm taking, trying to put the screws in from the back side here that I can't see, where I can't see. Uh, it's uh, a bit rough. And then I got to go get a, a step ladder here where I climb up on the step ladder and start putting the balusters in. And I th had just enough balusters out of the open box that I had here. This is the first box out of six boxes. There's 50, 50 per box. So this is a, so I have just this is a 50 this will be the 50 balusters that I've put up just on three sets of rails and I've got a whole bunch of more rails to go because I still have the rails for this for the steps this has got to be done rails so they continue on around uh, so I'll end up using 50 just to get to the another 50 just to get to the hot tub uh, I'm sort of think, assuming uh, or somewhere around there, not quite uh, to get the hot tub. It'll be close to 50, but not quite. It'll be maybe uh, you know eight or nine shy, shy of 50. It'll be you know, right at 40, I guess, to get over to finish up to the hot tub area. And then I might have bought it, bought more than I needed, but I'll, I'd much rather have more than I need than not enough, especially when you're buying them 50 at a time. So I bought, uh, it was also cheaper to buy them that way. That way, whenever I add on to the deck, I'll actually have some here too. But, uh, so we're getting here. This is down to the last two here. So these, they, I mean, they go up pretty easy. It's got two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom. And I'd already marked these boards where they were supposed to go. 
and all I was just looking for was the uh, little mark on the board where I didn't put the screw in, and uh, that's it. And that's how I put up one of these rails here. Um, there are pieces on the ends of the 2 by 4s There are little pieces, the plastic pieces that I think put on there makes it easier for mounting them. Uh, and I'd already made the top rail with a piece that I'd already made it. So there's like the plastic pieces, it's somewhere between five, uh, between a quarter of an inch and five sixteenths of an inch with the two thicknesses. So kind of have to adjust for that for that very top rail. But uh, there's that one in place. It's getting a bit hot here, so I'm going to take a break here. Uh, and it's having to look into the sun as I work on this here. Uh, actually, it's going to get even worse as the sun comes up over to the right there. That's the east. And as it comes up, that shaded area right over there is fixing to not be shaded. And uh, in about 10 or 15 minutes as the sun co comes up over the trees there to the right. So it's uh, early in the morning. Uh, I don't know. Um, it is like 1030 in the morning. So that's uh, we're going to stop at least for now. I'll be back out here as soon as the sun moves over to the west and we get shade over here from the trees on the west side of us here. So we take a little break here. Got the guys from the sawmill Portable saw milk showed up here to uh, cut the logs up that I've been set, having set here on the uh, my property. So we're going to watch a little bit of video on that. Making some six by sixes. 20 foot long. Got two six inch slabs here. He had three, but couldn't get the third one up in place. That's two by six, is there anyway? 20 foot long, two by sixes. Ooh, get out of the way. Yeah.
Okay, I gotta get back to work. So this is what they did after day one, 152, two by sixes, 18 foot long. They did almost the same amount on day two. And uh, then we had also had a piece of poplar that was cut up into slabs. Okay, so we have the hot tub now finally in place. <laughs> I had to pull it out, completely turn it around. I had it in backwards, I had the controls out there on that side instead of over on this side and the electrical was on this side instead of on that side where the where the uh, box is going so I mean the electrical could have been put anywhere but need the controls over on this side here where it's accessible instead of out there I mean I could have put it here over on the other side but I wanted it right here so I got it had to take it out turn it around and put it back in so now we're going to put in the decking here for this here right here this part right here and then there's going to be a little landing i've got blocks set here just a kind of temporary space here we're going to put a landing out here with steps going down this way to go alongside the house going forward and then steps going down this way to go out to where i'm burning that stump out right there and uh, so there'll be steps coming down here as well as the steps that we have going down over there and the ones we got going on over there so this is what we're doing here now and uh, so first I'm going to do is bring in all the boards so I can get the spacing right here across here I've got like uh, 16 or 17 boards I got to bring in here figure out the spacing and figure out exactly where my landing is going to go because it's not exact here and uh, I'd much rather go to the boards than to go to what I have in my brain for measurements. So we'll go to the boards and use the boards as where we're going to take and set everything up. So I've got the boards over here. Those boards are going to be used for the landing here. We're going to build out a little landing here. And then I've got lumber over here on the trailer here for making the uh, um, stringers for the steps. Hopefully I've got enough lumber here to finish everything out. If not, I may have to go buy a couple of decking pieces. I think I have everything I need, except for maybe four or five pieces of decking to finish up the steps. So that's where we're at now. I'm going to take a turn on the camera as I bring in the boards and get them in place so I can figure out where we're going. So I've got 17 boards I've got to bring in place. I had two of them already laying there. Uh, these are all 16-foot boards. Uh, to go into place here because it's nine and a half foot or something like that there to the edge and then I got to add four foot there for the uh, uh, on those first eight boards because that's going to be a platform to go to steps going down to the right and steps going down to the left uh, coming off the end of the deck there uh, so we got it 17 boards got to bring in here and uh, it's shady it's this is in the morning time this is before noon uh, We've got a lot of shade here coming in here. Uh, so obviously it's autumn, it's fall. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, we get, it's taken, uh, this part of the deck stays in the shade much longer now um, as a result. Uh, we in fall because the trees that are on the eastern, northeastern side uh, of here, uh, of of the deck of the house here so I'm getting the uh, um, all the planks that I need up here all of these are 16 foot except for the very last one which is like a little over 10 foot um, one I happen to have there so we get that into place take a real quick lunch break and come back so now I've got to mark off each of these boards here so I marked underneath and uh, along the end there and I've got to the first eight boards have to be four foot longer than the uh, than where it is so that I can build the uh, platform that they're going to go on here uh, before going for the stairs to go to the right and the left and then the rest of them will be cut to length um, actually going to be cutting these here just like a half inch short because I got them jammed up against the hot tub, and then I just want them backed off a half inch off the edge, uh, off the back, uh, off the hot tub, so everything's 
uh, get cut to the length that it needs to be cut to. Uh, so these first eight boards are cut here are for the uh, um, platform for the steps to go to the right and to the left. And then I'll come around to the other side and uh, start cutting back on the um, on these here coming back this way from those um, that are um, going to be cut right at the length uh, at length I don't have to actually add any measurement to them and so I'm going to put this first one into place uh, all these boards got a little bows and everything this one's got a bow in it I've got it I just pick and put up a, a uh, board to screw it up against the uh, uh, the face there and uh, pulls it into place and then I you know start start screwing down um, the uh, boards there and uh, the decking and this so we're trying to you know, get it over the right side that I want it up there I want the uh, uh, the side up that put put get it to the side up that I want um, on these boards here um, a lot of it's to get rid of the uh, ink marks on it because I'm staying in the deck and the other part is to try to get rid of some of the cupping on some of the boards um, unfortunately no matter how you do it they have, have a tendency to cup whichever way they want to cup anyway no matter what you do um, I've taken tried to you know look at the end grains and take, make sure I get it so that they don't uh, so they cup right uh, and you know and come up but then and then they'll turn around and kick and bow the other way so it's uh that was more about getting the uh, side up that i wanted to have visible up on the top here um and uh the wife's over there um that's the wife there we're discussing uh what needs to be done here to, uh, to get her to help here and uh um, she's going to think because i can't uh get the uh do the decking uh screws on the deck that that well uh so she's going to help and uh put the screws on the deck while i can build the platform over there um so we're just talking i about something i don't know maybe i'm explaining what needs to be done uh i don't remember hey, there goes the cat so yeah i got to put in a couple of screws in uh here and uh, for whatever reason uh, the battery died anyway, so we didn't get much of it uh, recorded. So uh, there's that. Okay, so the battery ran out on the other camera, so I'm going to go here a little bit here. So we got this part here, this part of the deck in here done, all except for these two planks right here. And those two planks right there, which those will get done as soon as I put in the stringers for the steps here and the stringers for the steps here. But all the rest of the decking here is down here on this side. Then we have to do over there. But this is it for part eight. This is the end of part eight here. So we're going to stop here. Uh, part nine should be the end of it, hopefully. Uh, but uh, I got to take. Uh, Get this here, get the stringers. So, we'll part nine start. We'll, we'll put the stringers in over there for those there. We'll put the decking in here and we'll finish up the railing. So, oh, so it's two steps, decking, and the rest of the railing. So, we've got half the railing here done. So, we got to do the railing over here as well. So, See if I can take, turn around and see if I can do this here right here. So I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, part eight. Uh, and uh, please subscribe and click the notify bell for the next part as we go along.